Before we start the program, please keep your indulgence to put your phones off or silent, please. All phones off or silent, please. Shall we please rise for the procession of council? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Shall we please rise for the procession of council? We begin the program with the opening hymn, Land of Our Birth, first to third stanzas, third, first to third stanzas.
you may find it behind the program. Please have your seats. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Chairman of the Ten Board of the Medical and Dental Council, members of the Ten Board of the Medical and Dental Council. Our invited guests, parents, guidance, our newly qualified medical and dental practitioners, our friends from the media, you are all welcome to the induction ceremony of the Medical and Dental Council. At this juncture, I have the singular honor to invite the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyubala, to give us the call to order and the purpose of gathering. Shall we please welcome the registrar? Respectfully, Chairman of the Town Board of the Medical and Dental Council, ladies and gentlemen, this very special meeting of the Town Board of the Medical and Dental Council is now formally called to order. Respectfully, Mr. Chairman, with your leave, may I introduce members of the Town Board who are here present. To the extreme left, we have Mrs. Stella Otima Beidu. Chief State Attorney, Attorney General's Department, and Attorney General's Representative on the Time Board. Next to her is Dr. Ernest York, Consultant Physician, Endocrinologist, Senior Lecturer, University of Ghana Medical School, Greater Accra Chairman of the Ghana Medical Association, and a representative of the Medical Doctors Group on the board. Next is Mr. Samuel Ajapon, a retired banker and a lay representative as the president's nominee on the board. 
with your permission, Chairman, may I skip the next two plus and then go to the lady with beautiful glasses. She is Miss Rebecca Bante, District Director of Health Services, a physician assistant, and representative of the physician assistant groups on the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council. Next to her is Professor Stephen Tabiri, a professor in general surgery, dean of the University of Development Studies School of Medicine, and a representative of the training institutions, <laughs> Professor Stephen Tabiri. The gentleman with a beautiful hard cap and the beautiful smog. His constituency makes one of the best smogs in this country. He prides himself as a rural MP. He is Honorable Mahama Ase Seni, Deputy Minister for Health, and representing the minister, a member of the 10th board, and also representing the Honorable Minister for today's function. Finally, I know he doesn't require any further introduction. The 10th board, our chairman, is Professor Paul Kwame Nyame. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, as we may already be aware, the Medical and Dental Council is the statutory agency under the Ministry of Health charged with the responsibility for the professional regulation of doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in Ghana. The object of council as provided for under section 26 of part two of the Health Professions Regulatory Bodies Act of 2013, Act 857, is to secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. The council is mandated to perform, among other things, the following functions to ensure that pre-registration training of newly qualified doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in accredited training institutions meets the required standards. Conduct examinations for the registration of foreign trained medical and dental practitioners and physician assistants. Compile and keep registers of registered practitioners and prescribe and enforce professional standards and conduct for registered practitioners. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Minister for Health, ably represented by the Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, Honorable Mahama Asisini, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here this morning to induct into the profession, our profession, 117 medical and dental practitioners. We are, as always, happy to welcome family and friends in person to this very special ceremony. We also welcome our online audience watching this event live on our Facebook handle. Ladies and gentlemen, these practitioners are drawn from the University of Ghana Medical School, Accra, the University of Ghana Dental School, Accra, the University of Cape Coast School of Medical Sciences, Cape Coast, and foreign trained doctors who have passed council's registration examinations. Mr. Chairman, respectfully permit me at this juncture to address our inductees. You have had in the course of your training some responsibilities in the care of patients. These patient responsibilities were, however, directly borne by your teachers. Your transition from yesterday's students to professionals today implies that human lives are now being directly entrusted in your care. Dear Indatis, what this means is that from today, a greater responsibility in the care of patients will be laid directly at your feet. 
as you take the role of frontline professionals. This role literally includes the responsibility to decide between life and death. It is therefore important that having met the basic training requirements, the Medical and Dental Council, which supervises your basic training, formally admits you into the profession, registers you, and regulates your pre-registration practice, commonly referred to as housemanship. You will be eligible for permanent registration only after you have met the pre-registration standards as earlier explained to you on Monday during the pre-induction professional ethics and medical jurisprudence seminar. Dear inductees, due to the rapidly changing nature of science, medicine, and technology, as well as the changing professional regulatory landscape, council now requires that your registration on the provisional register involves your open declaration of your commitment to the profession, our profession, to science, and to society and our beloved country. Ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point remind you of the shared value of counsel, guiding the professions, protecting the public. Thoughts that are forestated and counsel's regulatory focus has been on professional accountability aimed at promoting and maintaining public health, safety, and well-being, assuring and maintaining confidence and trust in the profession and its members, promoting and maintaining public confidence in our healthcare system in general, and prescribing and enforcing professional standards and conduct for our registered practitioners. Ladies and gentlemen, in accordance with the above stated focus, Council has just successfully conducted its first ever objective, structured clinical examination for foreign trained practitioners to assure the quality and safety of the care that patients receive from our registered practitioners. Council also conducted unannounced monitoring visits to some training institutions to assess their compliance with regulatory requirements. The next area of priority focus of the board includes the development of the scope of practice guidance document for the medical and dental practitioners, delimiting what the medical and dental officers, now specialist general practitioners, the specialists at the level of membership and the specialists at the level of fellowship can do and cannot do. In that is, you will be required to sign the provisional registration certificate, which gives you the legal authority to commence your housemanship. The occasion is also to afford you our newly qualified practitioners, the opportunity to interact with senior members of the profession. You had a session on the ethics and law that govern our practice. It therefore behoves you to be fully aware of your responsibilities during housemanship. And remember that council will continue to monitor and track your performance as house officers in Ghana. While on behalf of the management of council, I congratulate our newly qualified practitioners and welcome them to the noble, honorable, and truly learned profession of medicine. Our inductees must remember that great professional practice experience requires of them a gentle smile, a listening ear, a kind heart, calm nerves critical and reflective mind, an unalloyed commitment to lifelong learning, a humble, decent, gentle, and reassuring persona, all of these clothed in integrity and respect for human dignity. Finally, Mr. Chairman, Honorable Deputy Minister, special invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, you are all warmly welcome to this very important ceremony. I hope you enjoy our program, and we thank you for coming. Can we do it better for the registrar? <laughs> We'd like to take a song from President King Youth Choir.
We give it out to President King Youth Choir. Thank you for that wonderful song. Honorable Deputy Minister, Chairman of the Ten Board of the Medical and Dental Council, members of the Ten Board, distinguished personalities, ladies and gentlemen, we've now come to the roll call of inductees. And once again, I call on the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyibala to do us the honor. Shall we please welcome Dr. Banyubala.
Thank you very much, Mr. Richard Apieji. This is the highlight of the function. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have some basic rules around the roll call. The first thing is that because our inductees are coming into the medical and dental group, which are the leadership of the healthcare team, we introduce them to teamwork right from the beginning. So in a team and teamwork-based arrangement, there are shared responsibilities, which means that the inductees are sitting in cohorts so once you hear the name, I know friends, family will be excited, but please, any temptation to applause when you hear your words or your family member's name should be resisted in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 please make sure that there's collection collected. <laughs> so at the end of the cohort, just before the last name of that cohort will be called, you will hear the prompter, which is end then the last doctor's name will come. Then we will then together share in their success, share the joys, the pains, the challenges, everything together for that cohort. And that cohort will sit down. Then we will start and they, they will keep standing up until the last person again, then we will share the applause. The second thing is that we will want them to be seen. Our cameras are here. This public declaration. So that if you meet them in the consulting room and they don't treat you well, you remember, but I saw you on camera <laughs> saying these great things. And because we want everybody to be seen, we know we are both vertically differently enabled. Which means that if we let everybody keep standing, some may not be well seen. And so because of that, each cohort will sit down at the end of the applause and then the next and that order. Then after that, we will make sure that they put on their angelic clothes, white coats with Medical and Dental Council logo embossed on it before they are then respectfully handed over to the board for admission. So let's see. Uh, whether we will pass the test. So I'll use me as the last person in my cohort. And it will go like, and Dr. Divine Banyubala. <laughs> excellent, excellent, you are wonderful. Dr. Kofi Ampofo Abankwa. Dr. McDaniel Abu Bonsra, Dr. Darlington Chum Bafo Adade, Dr. Eud Dede Ado, Dr. Mami Akosua Ejakobia Ado, Dr. Emelda Edu Boateng, Dr. Bafo Kofu Kofi Akoto Edu, Dr. Georgia Usua, Dr. Millicent Edu Poku. Dr. Michael Efriye and Dr. Confidence Kojo Agbo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Comfort Ajewa, Dr. Ransford Kwame Ajiman, Dr. Frank Archery Ajiman, Dr. Randolph Dia. Ajiman, Dr. Derek Aheto, Dr. Emmanuel Donko Edu, Dr. Michael Malanko Aklomasa, Dr. Curtis Setho Ape Donu, Dr. Saad Musa Al Hassan, Dr. Fifi Amwa, Dr. Josephine Ajua Chiniwa Amwa, Dr. Justice Amuzu. Dr. Ephraim Amu Ando, and Dr. Vincent Annen Edinkra.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Bridget Mami Chinuwu Chinuwa Ansa. Dr. Dennis Ousu Ansa. Dr. Ajwa Safua Anson. Dr. Solomon Nana Sasu Entry. Dr. Elijah Nyaku Apiaje. Dr. Aaron Osai Apia. Dr. Melissa Danyansa Arthur. Dr. Nwalima Na Lamioko Ayi Boy. Dr. Lina Ejewa Asamoa. Dr. Kwabna Asiedu Eje Asante. Dr. Daniel Kwabna Asari. Dr. Theophilus Asiedu Bimpong. Dr. Augustina Ayimpoka Asulmiya. Dr. Asma Awudu. And Dr. Harriet Aike Aye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Justin Awadandani Bajina. Dr. Nana Abba Baden. Dr. Solomon Bediako Frempon. Dr. Josephine Inshra Benyi. Dr. Rafael Wokblom Binka. Dr. Kwajo Odru Boafu. Sorry, Dr. Solomon Bediako Frimpong. Dr. Josephine Inshra Benyi. Dr. Rafael Wokblom Binka. Dr. Kwajo Odru Boafu. Dr. Isaac Kweku Boating. Dr. Gideon Bochwe. Dr. Emmanuel Bochwe. Dr. Rachel Ayoko Boy. Dr. Peter Cornelius Jr. Dr. Mercy Elinam Akushika Den. Dr. Angela Francine Na Amwa Dodu. Dr. Oura Boedi Ampofo Donko. Dr. Simon Ajiman. Donko and Dr. Erica Kukua Donto. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But please don't let the applause die down. It has been several years of hard work. Dr. Tiata Dut. Dr. Austin Zogli Edeko. Dr. Henry Efina. Williams, Dr. Kevin Enos, Dr. Edwin Kaur Excel, Dr. Aji Yande Faye, Dr. John Bosco Deopeli Ferry Inyong, Dr. Sam Kweku Esson Jonah Fojo, <clears throat> Dr. Jessica Frimpong Kesi, Dr. Joseph Kwabna Frimpong, Dr. Marcello Kwami Gu Yabuafo, Dr. Samuel Romeo Hammond. Dr. Ahmed Hussein. Dr. Mariama Ibrahim. Dr. Joan Jackson. Dr. Emmanuel Kabute. Dr. Adam Kweku Keme. And Dr. Joel Isama Mensa Kwami Kemeche. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Vincent Kusi, Dr. Henry Maxwell Kofi, Dr. Princess Tari Moko Lamte Pudikombe, Dr. Oprah Apao Menu, Dr. Hubert Tete Adumaku Mensa, Dr. James Kwasi Mensa, Dr. Nana Ekria Amwabin Mensa, Dr. Pace Patience Monday, Dr. Selassie Afi. Nkegbe, Dr. Emanuela Nketia, Dr. Belinda Inti Taboa, Dr. Emmanuel Ifriye Ofori, Dr. Richard Michael Ofori, Dr. Suzette Nyakua Ofori, Dr. Kwame Ampuma Opoku, and Dr. Kofi Umpuni Frimpo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Dr. Antoinette Ose Jesse, Dr. Michael Donko Ose Cranton, Dr. Michael Nyentechi Oteng, Dr. Otavia Otu, Dr. Prisla Bruwa Otu Nyako, Dr. Nathaniel Ousu Ampofo, Dr. Ebenezer Ousu Amponsa, Dr. Frank Prempe, Dr. Clifford Ajabin Kwanza, Dr. Joseph Ni Kwate Kote, Dr. Mami Ansua Kwesen, Dr. Amanda Teko Saki, Dr. Patrick Sion, Dr. Eric Nuokwem Soglo, Dr. Abdul Mumun Mumin Suleiman, and Dr. Sheikh Zurukani Tanko. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Hilda Abla Tekute, Dr. Isaac Tete, Dr. Arafat Tijani Hassan, Dr. Gloria Esnam Tumfu, Dr. Ronald Kabute Wahirme, Dr. Samuel Essel Nanabenin Williams, Dr. Lois Wusa, Dr. Benjamin Ni Akwa Yate, Dr. Curtis Yebua Ofori, Dr. Joladi Dodunde Adewumi, and, and Dr. Patricia Ampedu. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess I also deserve some round of applause. Dear in that is, may you all be upstanding. Kindly don your white coats with your name tags embossed on. This is because as part of the quality assurance measures put in place by the Medical and Dental Council, all registered practitioners are supposed to be in the pro appropriate professional apparel at all times whilst they remain in the healthcare setting. Also to ensure that we facilitate patient choice as to the appropriate practitioner, they have their names and the name tags are color coded. You will find that their name tags will be pink in color because they are on provisional register. So all practitioners with the American Dental Council on the provisional register, the color of that register is pink. If they satisfy the conditions of the provisional, provisional register and they move on to the permanent, then the color code turns into blue. And the same will go with their files. So that if they don't treat us right, we know their names and we know their registration number. It is our prayer that they will treat us beyond our expectation. Now, there in that is, you had a whole day on professional ethics and medical jurisprudence, a whole day seminar. You also had prior notice of what is contained in the physician's oath. At this point, as part of our custom, we provide you one minute of reflection to make a decision whether you really want to take this oath or you want to exit. Because it is an open declaration you are making to the world and to the people gathered here, and the cameras are here, so that when you take the oath, you must commit to abide by every single tenet in that oath. And we are all here as witnesses on behalf of humanity. We train you for humanity. Chairman of the Term Board, respectfully, I do not see any exits. May I then respectfully submit, respectfully Board Chair, 117 newly qualified doctors and dentists 
for admission into the noble learned profession of medicine. Respectfully submitted, Mr. Chairman. Could you kindly put your right hands over your hearts? Say after me, fill in where there's a space. Who graduated from? In? Swear. As a member of the medical profession, As a of the medical profession. I, solemnly to to I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well-being of my patient, well of my patient will, be my first consideration. will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I'll maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age, I will not of age. Disease, or disease or disability, creed, creed. Ethnic, origin, ethnic origin, gender, gender. Nationality. nationality, political affiliation, political. race, sexual orientation, sexual orientation social, standing, social standing or any other factor to, in, to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me even after the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity, and in accordance with good medical practice. I'll foster the honor and noble tradition of the medical profession. I'll give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I'll share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of health care. I will attend to my own health, well-being, in abilities, in order to provide care of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Congratulations. We will continue to remain standing as we invite the Deputy Minister to lead us in the recital of the National Pledge. Good morning once again. Why you recite the National Pledge? Make sure that you don't bring applications to leave this country. Are you sure? <laughs> That's by the way, thank you very much. Say after me, I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and with all my heart.
I promise to hold in high esteem our heritage won for us through the blood and toll of our fathers. And I pledge myself in all things to uphold and defend the good name of Ghana. So help me God. Shall we all be upstanding, please? You may please have your seat. And congratulations to you all. Can we give them a very big round of applause? So these are latest, the latest doctors in town. Congratulations once again. Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, Professor Chairman, members of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council, distinguished personalities. I have the singular honor to introduce to us some distinguished personalities who have graced this occasion. Without any particular order, I introduce to you the former Chief Executive Officer for Cocoa Board in the person of Dr. Stephen Opuni. He came with a wife, Mrs. Gifty Opuni. The applause is too feeble. They are dignitaries, okay? I have with us the Chief Executive Officer for Kofi Chrome Pharmacy in the person of Farm Kofi Ado Ejekum. He also came with a wife, Mrs. Gifty Ado Ejekum, a psychologist and a clinical a DDN nurse at the Lekma Hospital. From the National Cardiothoracic Center, Kolebu, we have Dr. Abdul Samed Tanku. He also came with a wife, Dr. Mrs. Memunatu Tanku from the Trust Hospital. We have with us the Director of Research Office of the President in the person of Dr. Isaac Ousu Mensah. A urologist from the University of Ghana Medical School in the person of Dr. JPRT.
I must say that anytime we have induction, the person who gets the, the loudest applause is Dr. GPR. So do it better. I think one day I have to ask him why he always gets the loudest applause. I think there's something special about him. From the Ministry of Health, Senior Administrative Manager, in the person of Adua Ayurebi Aqua. We have a traditional leader with us, Kumeu Besorinhine, Nana Teng Furi Kwajan, the third. We also have with us the president for the Ghana Medical Association in the person of Dr. Frank Serebo. We have deputy ranking member for health committee of parliament in the person of Dr. Mark Nawani. We have the director for Matadi's health system in the person of Mr. Enoch Osafo. We have the medical director, University Health Services, Legon, Grace Ahiaji. Representing the registrar, nursing and midwifery council, and the head of Greater Accra Regional Office is the person of Gloria Simpong. <laughs> Representing the Dean, University of Ghana Medical School, the, we have Professor Edem Tete. <laughs> From the school, Representing the school administration, the dean for, for the representing the dean, University of Ghana Dental School is the person of Salia Ama Baden. We have with us the director general for Ghana Health Service in the person of Dr. Patrick Kuma Abuaji. Representing the Registrar for the Allied Health Professions Council is Mrs. Marion Dante. So we'll continue to introduce our dignities as and when they come in. Thank you very much for making time to grace this beautiful occasion. We now have the chairman's address and that will be delivered on his behalf by Dr. Ennis York a member of the TEN board. Shall we please welcome Dr. York as he delivers the chairman's address. Thank you, Mr. PJ. Good morning once again. Great. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Deputy Minister of Health representing the minister Members of the 10th board here gathered, the Director General of the Ghana Health Service, I recognize you, and also my president, Dr. Sirbo. Is he your president? Yes. You know, so I aspire to be like him. I also want to acknowledge the deans and heads of training institutions, lecturers, and trainers, parents. Good morning. And all those gathered here, I'm grateful for the opportunity given to me by the chairman of the board to give this address on his behalf and also on behalf of the board to these newly qualified doctors and dentists. As the registrar mentioned in his welcome speech, today's, today marks the oath swearing and induction ceremony of 117 newly qualified doctors and dentists drawn from the University of Ghana Medical School, Accra, University of Ghana Dental School, Accra, University of Cape Coast School of Medical Sciences, Cape Coast, and foreign trained doctors who pass council's registration exams. I wish to congratulate all these newly, newly qualified doctors and dentists who I know 
I've gone through a lot, but I now call them colleagues. Are you not colleagues now? For most of you, I'm sure when you cast your mind back, the journey has not been a smooth sailing one. It's been hard or sometimes tortuous. But you must be proud of yourself for being here today, and you deserve applause. <laughs> your teachers have done their job. You have graduated by God's grace, and MDC has inducted you. What next? Mr. Chairman, I'll revisit the question or the discussion on what next in a moment. But in the meantime, let me remind all those gathered here and the public in general that in line with Council's avowed aim of ensuring and maintaining in the public interest the highest standards of training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana, this was mentioned by the registrar again in his welcome speech, Council conducted its first objective structured clinical and practical examination, also known as OSCEs and OSPs for foreign trained medical graduates from the 17th to 19th of July this year at the University of Ghana Medical Center. This replaces the old theory or written and viva focus exam format. The candidates who took the OSCE and the OSP, which is the part two of the exam, had passed the part one written or oral exams. I wish to report that the exams were largely successful beyond our expectations. The council has learned valuable lessons and hopes to improve on it in subsequent exams. On behalf of the board and the chairman, I wish to congratulate the hardworking registrar and his secretariat for leading the, his staff for a human's job. I wish also to congratulate the chief examiner and his team, all the examiners involved, the markers, and all those involved in organizing the exam. Let me sincerely also thank the management of UGMC for their support. We pray for a continued mutually beneficial collaboration. Again, let me remind the public that a common licentiate exam, and you new graduates, listen carefully and inform your colleagues that in 2025, Council will organize a common licentiate exam for locally trained medical doctors. This is just two years away. So please inform them and the deans and the teachers kindly take note so that you prepare um, towards it. Mr. Chairman, I want to switch gears a bit and touch briefly on con a controversial subject, yet an important one. This is about the issue of health worker migration abroad. All right. You guys are smiling, eh? You started writing the exams already. We know that they migrate for various reasons, including to, you know, for further training, simpliciter, and sometimes because of family ties that they may have. But we know that the most significant push factor is what? Great, so you answered it. Economic reasons. I'm aware that the migration of doctors ab abroad slowed down or slowed. Sometime passed after we established the Ghana College of uh, Physicians and, and, and Surgeons spearheaded by our current chairman, Professor Nyame. He deserves a round of applause. And later with the introduction of the single spine peer policy. It slowed, it was clear that, you know, the reversal occurred somehow. However, it has taken a turn for the worse again. No month will pass without a house officer or a resident in training approaching me for a testimonial. This is just me, who is not even a head of department or dean. I'm just head of the endocrinology unit. So you can imagine if you multiply it across department, across schools, across the whole country, the numbers that are living on a weekly basis. So it behoves on us as a nation to take urgent steps to address the problem to protect our fragile um, health system. I'm glad the Director General of Health Services is here and the Deputy Minister of Health is also here. 
So I'm speaking to the right people. But may I ask what has happened to the rural incentive allowance? It has to be concluded and implemented quickly. It's, it I believe, even as GME, the president here can attest to the fact that it's one of the things that we look forward to that we hope that would help stem the tide of migration, both outward and even improve the rural urban distribution of healthcare practitioners. Now back to my junior colleagues. I've spoken some for you, no be so. Yeah, so they should improve the incentive packages, but you have a responsibility. And let me remind you quickly that it is illegal to do locums and sign medical certificates. Mr. Chairman, can I have your permission to bully them for the last time? I want them to repeat after me. Um, so it is illegal to do locums and sign medical certificates. Right, a word to the wise. Be this is because the law, pays, uh, what the, the law does not recognize you to have an independent practice. So it, you don't have a direct responsibility, but your responsibility is indirect through your supervisor. That is why a period of two years is set aside to polish the training you had, you had in school, to upgrade your knowledge, skills, and professionalism. Once counsel is satisfied through your trainers, after the period of apprenticeship, then you'll be given a permanent license to practice. Newly qualified doctors and dentists, as a doctor, let me remind you quickly that you won't be poor. Does that sound good? It does. But again, let me quickly also tell you that you won't be rich. The money will come, but please bide your time. Try and avoid fraud. Avoid a get rich quick mentality that is pervasive um, these days. Go through the paces and money will come. Let me again remind you that it is illegal to sign fictitious excuse duties. They will come asking you, I don't want to go to, I'm going to write exam. Tell, give me a certificate to say that I have malaria or severe malaria. Do not do it because once you have found out, um, the law will deal with you. Mr. Chairman, let me remind our junior colleagues once again that this profession values patients and treats them with respect. Be friendly and usher them in with a smile. Also remember that patients have a choice and always be guided by the principle of autonomy. Any recommendation or treatment that is suggested to the patient must be in the best interest of him or her. Remember in your ethics um, 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 training you had just a few days ago, what was referred to as do no harm. That principle must guide you throughout your profession. As members of the noble profession, we are duty bound to uphold the tenets of the profession. We need to make, you need to, and all of us, our forebears, your teachers and your nation proud that they invested in you and that this investment has yielded fruits. Otherwise, would have failed the profession, your teachers, your nation. And therefore, please stand up and be counted among the best in the profession. Patients are becoming more aware of their rights and expectations. Fall on the experience of your seniors and other health care professionals and always seek their counsel. And as I'm concluding, Mr. Chairman, I want to remind our colleagues again to keep updating their knowledge because the field of medicine and dentistry is evolving very rapidly. To conclude, I want to urge you to stay healthy and seek the face of the Lord. Find time to have fun and rejuvenate. Doctors, we are boring, Dodo. You need to diversify your friends. Don't just choose doctors as your friends. When you have a, an outdoor, they won't come. When they come, they won't spend more than 30 minutes. The other professions will stay. That's on the you know, lighter side. But above all, protect the name of the profession. We call it the noble profession.
God bless you and congratulations once again. Can we give it up to Dr. York once again? I heard someone when Dr. York said the council will begin a common line sheet exam for locally trained. Somebody's heart was just pumping out. And some were telling themselves, I'm out already. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Dr. York, for the pieces of advice. Ladies and gentlemen, we've now come to another beautiful part of this ceremony where our newly qualified practitioners are to show us their dancing skills. Yes. So yesterday, the PhD did have the score. So I'm comparing the two. So present King Yutka, so I'm inviting all the newly qualified practitioners, medical and dental practitioners, onto the dancing floor. This is the day the Lord has made. President King Yutka, sorry, go. The parents can also join if you want to. The parents can also join them. You are invited.
Can you please have your seats? Can you please have your seats, please? Can you please have your seats? So, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick reminder that we are still at the induction of the Medical and Dental Council, but not a church service. Can you give a big applause to President King Youth Choir for those wonderful renditions? So, I think I have to bring an offering bowl, right? So that I can get some coins to defray the cost. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, wonderful parents. We are so grateful. Professor Chairman, before the address by the Honorable Deputy Minister, may I introduce some dignitaries in our midst? We have with us from the, the Chief Director, Ministry of Roads and Highways, in the person of Engineer Abbas M. Awulu. We also have with us the medical director from Tamale Teaching Hospital, in the person of Dr. Mike Yilibora. We have the rector, the registrar for Health Facility Regulatory Agency, in the person of Dr. Philip Bano.
We have a rep from Yoko in the person of Mr. Philip Edu. <clears throat> Last but not the least, Director for Gimpa in the person of Professor Osei Bonsu. <clears throat> Professor Chairman, members of the team board, it is now time to listen to the address of the minister, and that will be delivered by the Honorable Deputy Minister, Honorable Mama Seni, the one who plows himself as the rural MP. Shall we please welcome him? One hundred and seventeen doctors. Congratulations. <laughs> clap for yourselves, clap for yourselves. I must say Ghana is part of you. Minister of Health is part of you. And I very proud of you. Because I'll not die soon. Seventeen, one hundred and seventeen doctors taking care of me. I don't think I will die soon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Chairman of the Term Board of Council, Professor Paul Kominyami, members of the Term Board of Council, provosts and deans, heads of accredited institutions for husbandship and internship, ladies and gentlemen. I'm greatly delighted and feel honored to address you on the occasion of the induction into the professions of medicine and dentistry, some 117 newly qualified doctors and dentists to augment the current strength of about uh, 1,000 doctors and dentists serving in various parts of the country. In the tease, may I take this opportunity to offer you all very well deserved hearty congratulations on your success. I further wish to commend your families, guardians, and all those who contributed to your success. And of course, I extend a special appreciation to your lecturers, mentors, and the patients who kindly allow you to learn through them an important sacrifice that should not be lost on you. Mr. Chairman, I am particularly happy that the ministry is receiving into our fold another batch of freshly qualified doctors and dentists into the profession of medicine from University of Ghana Medical School, Accra, University of Ghana Dental School, Accra, University of Cape Coast School of Medical Sciences and Cape Coast, and and foreign trained doctors who pass cancer registration exams. Mr. Chairman, I have not heard the name of Common Common University of Science and Technology. This year, we have not graduated people. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'm aware that before the council can grant professional licensing to foreign trained doctors or dentists, the council needs to ensure that the doctors, of, the doctors or dentists possesses the requisite professional knowledge, skills, abilities, and core competencies necessary for safe medical and dental practice in Ghana. The requirement is in keeping with section 27 of part two of the health professional, health professional regulatory bodies at 2013 at 857, which provides that the Council shall conduct examinations for the recession of foreign trained medical and dental practitioners and phys um, physician assistants. Mr. Chairman, I wish to congratulate the Medical and Dental Council for successfully organizing the new format of the recession examination stage one and stage two 
for the four trained medical and dental practitioners during the just ended examination period. Mr. Chairman, I wish to touch on the issue of attitude and conduct of healthcare professionals. In keeping with the high regards that society accords to healthcare professionals, the society really expects a corresponding high standard of professionalism and conduct. As a consequence, the object of counsel, as provided for in the part of in part two of the Health Professional Regulatory Bodies Act 2013 at 857, is to secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, regrettably, often the lure of specialized knowledge and success, if not properly managed, tend to result in bloated egos and inconsiderable conduct and may make one lose his humanity, the capacity to care. Ladies and gentlemen, any keen follower of the healthcare sector will have noticed that recent media reportage is represented with claims of professional negligence, improper conduct, and unethical behavior by our doctors, dentists, physician assistants, nurses, pharmacists, and so on and so on. The very people who openly swore their professional oaths and committed themselves to serve us in our most vulnerable states are now our abuses. This is unacceptable. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, government is committed to ensuring that Ghanaians nationwide have so access to quality health services. In line with above, the Minister of Health has part, as part of its 2023 program for work is to, is to institutionalize quality standards and practice, practice in the delivery of health services to ensure universal access to better, effective, efficiently manage and highly quality and quality, high, high quality primary health system. Reduce available mental or maternal rather, child and adolescent death and disability, and increase access to responsive clinical and public health emergency services. In accordance with this, my ministry's focus on issues of professional and institutional accountability. I am aware that the council is scheduled, among others, to redesign, re restructure, and harmonize curriculum for medical and dental training schools in Ghana. Develop scope of practice for medical and dental practitioners as has been done for the physician assistant groups. Devolve a supervision model following the, the launch of the scope of practice document for the physician assistant groups. Organize common national licensing exam, examination for both local and foreign trained doctors by 2025. Conduct quality assessment of housemanship and physician assistants internship and introduce National Health Career Day. Additionally, the Ministry has secured part funding from the World Bank for the refurbishment and construction of the first ever National Cancer Skills is a nursing center of excellence to support quality and safe training of medical doctors and dentists in Ghana. The ministry humbly requests the support of all stakeholders, especially our health practitioners, our partners, to, ad to advance the quality of medical, dental, medical and dental training and practice for our collective good as a nation. Mr. Chairman, the ministry looks forward to a long working relationship with these newly qualified doctors and dentists but they must remember the oath they took today 
the pre-induction lectures in medical professionalism and conduct, professional ethics, and medical jurisprudence. And that council and that, that council organize for them and serve our people with diligence, integrity, dedication, and respect and respect for humanity. Finally, they must not forget their faith, and I'm concerned that God will more than meet their needs. I wish you great success in your chosen careers. God bless us all and bless our nation Ghana and make her great and strong. And I'm going to make the, the passionate appeal. As a rural MP, as I've always been telling everywhere I go, we, we need your services. As I'm talking today, I have only two health centers. God, God, God bless my government. I'm getting agenda one one. And so I want to see your faces. Don't worry, food is in abundance. Meat, <laughs> meat in abundance. The only thing that there's no local yet. You are the, you'll be the pioneers. And for when you come there, the challenges are there. And that is why you're going to learn a lot and grow as a holistic Ghanaian. Thank you very much. Can we give it to the Honorable Deputy Minister once again? He says food is in abundance, so you are all invited to his constituency. Thank you, Honorable Deputy Minister, Honorable Mama Simu. It's now time for the vote of thanks, and that will be done by one of the latest, hottest doctors in town, in the person of Dr. Solomon Enki. Shall we please welcome him with an applause? as he delivers the vote of thanks on behalf of the group. The chairman of the 10th board of the Medical and Dental Council, Professor Paul Kwame Nyami. The Registrar of the Medical and Dental Council, Dr. Divine Banyubala, the representative, the representative of the Minister of Health, the Honorable Deputy Minister of Health, members of the board of the ten, of, members of the board of the Medical and Dental Council, the faculty staff from the medical and dental training institutions home and abroad, the minister present here, the director of the Ghana Health Service, parents and guardians, fellow doctors and dentists. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocol duly observed. I deem it a great honor to deliver to this August gathering the vote of thanks. Permit me, distinguished guests, to share from the Methodist hymn book the first stanza of MHB 896. Now praise we great and famous men. The choir will help us sing that. Praise we great and famous men, the Father's name in story. And praise the Lord who now was then reveals. Him on his glory. Thank you very much, Kwa. It is often said that a journey of a thousand miles begin with a step. In that same light, a journey of that thousand miles thus end with a step as well. A step out of your last viva station. A step out of your written or clinical exam. A step out of your project defense with a lot of mixed feelings. We can say that a journey of six years, or probably more, has finally come to an end. An end to which there is another beginning. To the Almighty God, we are eternally grateful for the gift of life 
and for thus far he has brought us. To our parents, guardians, and loved ones, we are thankful for supporting us financially, morally, socially, spiritually, and in many diverse ways. Shall we give them a round of applause? Thank you. To our patients, we are thankful for your cooperation throughout our training. To the families of our first professors, the cadavers, we are grateful for our first lessons. With a standing ovation, colleagues, and a round of applause, shall we say a very, very big thank you. So colleagues, can you join me with a standing ovation and a round of applause? So let's give it up for our lecturers. Let's give it up for our lecturers. Thank you, you may sit. We want to say a big thank you to all our faculty members, home and abroad, for their diligent training, both paraclinical and their clinical phases. It is our fervent prayer that our years of practice will be a solemn one, devoid of any hmm, who, ha, but rather, of faces and hearts of servitude to mankind. In the words of Sir William Osler, I will encourage us all to go out today and not just be good physicians, but rather great physicians. For the good physician treats the disease, but a great physician treats the person who has the disease. God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. Medase, Ate, Oyewalado. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. So can we give it up to Dr. Solomon Enchi? So we thank you for thanking us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost at the end of the program. And at this juncture, once again, I want all the newly qualified practitioners to be on their feet and put everything down. All newly qualified practitioners, please. So I just want to see your palms. Good. So we're going to give a clap and a shout to our parents who pay the legal and the illegal fees. Shall we go? Come on, give it to them. To our parents, we say thank you. Thank you to our parents. Congratulations by your support. Once again, let's go to our parents. Congratulations. You may have your seat. So to all parents and guidance, we say thank you. Some are selling charcoal, pure water, ayesu, masa, kose, but they've been able to pay the fees, the legal and the illegal fees. True or false? True or false? So let me give you an example. The last induction we had at the conference center. At the end of the event, the following Monday, I was in the office. And then I saw an elderly man with a very young lady. They came to the office. I was wondering what was going on. I saw the man. Then the man was like, I didn't know what was happening. Then later, they brought the man and the lady to my office. So the lady had registered for the induction which we have had the Thursday, but she did not attend. The induction fee, everything was about 1,000 and, it's not up to 1,000, 1,000 too. But she told the father 2,000. <laughs> and the most surprising thing was that he told the father the program was on Monday. Meanwhile, the program was on Thursday. So they ended up in my office. So 
I was asking the lady, are you saying you didn't hear of the induction? She says, yes, I knew it's Monday. Where did you see it? On the website. I said, let them open the website. We opened and it was there. Then the man asks, did you pay the money? The 2000 that I gave you, did you pay? <laughs> then I was like, your father is asking you a question. <laughs> then I went to look at my fees and charges. I'm not mentioning whether a doctor or PA. That thing was less than 1,001. But she has charged 1,002. And these are some of the things that we do. Our parents are struggling for us. Let's be fair to them. We are next to pay the fees. We are also going to pay both the legal and the illegal fees. But we thank our parents for paying all of them. The dream has come true. Thank you very much, parents. So we also want to acknowledge continuous service education. Continuous education services for streaming this event live. They've been with us from COVID to post-COVID. And they've been streaming all our events live on our Facebook page. Can we give it up to them? <laughs> Next, we want to say bravo to President King Youth Choir. Can we give it to them? They've been wonderful. <laughs> so I must say that the first time we used President King was in April 2014. So next year will be our 10th anniversary. Rex, next year we are not paying you. Know. The 10th anniversary, that one I'm telling you, we are not paying. So next year will be 10 good years since we discovered President King Youth Choir. And from that time till today, every induction, they have never disappointed us. Can we give it to President King Youth Choir? So, with the kind permission of my boss, I also want to say thank you to my team, all the staff of Medical and Dental Council. They've been wonderful. They've been amazing. Registration team, education, all the departments, they've all supported us. And I want to say the teamwork should continue. We've been here from Monday to today. And we are also happy that today, at least, some of us will see our family members. And we thank you all. We've come to the end of the program. Our board members will recess with our dignitaries after the closing hymn. And our newly qualified will remain seated just for a few announcements. My name is Richard APJ, Head of Registration and your MC. Thank you very much. May we be upstanding as we take the closing hymn, Land of Our Bed, from the sixth to eighth stanzas. Six to eight.
We we'll still remain standing as we have the recession of the members of the high table and our dignitaries. You may have your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the program. Our parents, you may leave us. Thank you. We are grateful. Sorry.